Well, 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 what's good, everybody? Timeless Traveler here, and welcome to Season 3 of my Minecraft Let's Play. We're going to be playing a brand new world on the new 1.20 Trails and Tales update. Full disclosure, I, uh... It's been it's been a very long time since I have play actually played Minecraft. Uh, my last upload was back in January of this current year, 2023. Um, so it's been almost six months since I've actually played Minecraft. To to be completely honest, I uh, forgotten some of the how to play Minecraft. So I'm still gonna be re I'm basically gonna be relearning how to play Minecraft again while also exploring some of the amazing new features that come with this new 1.20 update. Let's go ahead and let's let's walk and talk. So obviously, you know, we got a we've got about maybe seven, ten-ish minutes. Uh oh, let's go ahead and get some wood and then we will chat while uh we uh pass the time. Uh so basically like I said, brand new world. Uh without any behavior packs uh, i do have resource packs on because that does not affect achievements i remember mentioning a while ago a long long time ago that uh by starting over we are not going to be using behavior packs or add-ons because they get rid of achievements and i would really really like to get achievements again the downside is, is that certain things i will no longer have access to like certain crafting tweaks uh, like make it a bunch of trapdoors for a lower cost being able to pack and unpack the ice the wool the 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 nether warts and the magma blocks and having the dragon always drop an egg and wings it's okay it's okay um we still have some valuable resources here we're still able to use uh the foxy no tails armor stand marker because that doesn't actually affect any like entities or anything like that. It just adds on some visual effects when we place banners on the armor stand, for example. So we still have that. That's gonna be very, very important for chunk aligning and checking the spawn areas of farms and uh, the surrounding area. Oh, uh, first sign of danger. Um, also, <laughs> yeah, um, Enderman griefing. I can't turn off Enderman griefing because that's technically considered a cheat. Same thing with ghasts. So um, I will actually have to be careful with ghasts and uh, not let them destroy anything that I'm trying to build. Now, I did some researching using chunk base, of course. Uh, I didn't want to do too much. I wanted to find a world that would have a decent amount of biome diversity in within decent walking distance of the spawn area we're also still leaving some things up for uh traveling uh because this whole new update is all about adventuring and traveling uh so like for example like the desert if i want to go get some camels we are going to have to travel maybe a thousand blocks over to the south uh but this seed i'm going to plug it down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself it's not too bad i only looked around in a creative copy uh, briefly uh, just to kind of see what we are working with I didn't worry too much about like what's below the surface I just mainly focused on having the biomes a decent amount of biomes nearby like our deserts I have to have a plains I don't know what it is but I always have to have a plains nearby uh, so we're working our way over to the village excuse me Wilbur we're working our way over to a village over here. We've got a, f a nice little handful of villages within the area. So it'll be good for trades. It'll be good for getting a village breeder farm, an iron farm. Uh, not too early. I want to kind of enjoy things and explore a little bit more and really get back into the struggle of early game Minecraft because that's something I always try to rush out of. I get impatient. So I'm going to try a little bit harder to not rush things too much oh another downside to having behavior packs turned off having sheets turned off means that i do not have access to spectator mode anymore this is a problem because we will no longer be working with third person time lapses until mojang provides an update that is long overdue and well deserved for the bedrock community uh, for us to be able to have a visitor in our world on multiplayer and have them fixed in spectator mode uh well, until we have that we're not going to be able to have any third person time lapses in 
vanilla Minecraft, unfortunately. So bear with me. I'm going to probably try to play around with a few different uh, video styles when it comes to doing like intense builds and stuff like that. Nothing is nothing as great as a time lapse, of course, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work with what we have. And here we are at the village. Uh, let's see how much daylight we have. Uh, we don't have much time left. Uh, I'm going to build a bed. I uh, want to be able to pass the night away. We may need to work on defending this village because the next village, I think there's one a few hundred blocks over there, but I uh, want to keep these guys close so we can get some trading and some ironing. So one thing's for sure for this episode, we're pretty much just easing our way back into Minecraft, getting comfortable with it again, because like I said, it has been months since I've played this game. I've been watching videos, somewhat staying up to date on the 1.20 update. I'm aware of armor trims. I'm aware of camels. I'm aware of trail ruins um, and uh, the new crafting recipes for netherite armor. Uh, but some of it's going to be completely new to me, like skulk calibrated skulk centers. I'm not even going to mess with those. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use anything like that anytime soon. Uh, but yeah, we're going to just kind of explore, get comfortable with it, take our time here. And we do need to put a house somewhere. Or I might cut into the mountain. But anyway, I'm going to commandeer one of these rooms to put a bed in. The bed's in place. And no villagers are linked to it, which tells me that all the villagers have beds, which is good. Uh, this was a success. We passed the first night. Well, it's not over yet. Let's uh, get in here. And then we'll start talking about lighting the area and getting our home defenses set up. Well, we survived the first night. Not too bad. Uh, let's check the area, make sure nothing spawned. Okay. I feel like that mountain has a lot of good resources. So we're going to travel over there, I think, once we get... Uh, what? Where's the source? Not sure what's going on here, but maybe place it here. All of it will update. Okay. That doesn't explain this. Why is this being considered a source? Now, we only really need the wooden pickaxe just to get some stone. Once we get some stone, we'll upgrade our, create some more advanced tools and then go from there. But first, I need to go over to this waterbed, place down our sugar cane and get that going so I can start making some maps. I did not start this world with a map. Looking back on it, maybe I should have, but it's okay. And it's time to gather some stone real quick. Man, it's been so long since I've had to use the very basic tools. I forgot what it was like for a moment. Looks like we found some fuel as well. All right, that should be enough stone for now. No longer, we no longer need wooden tools. That's all primitive stuff. Let's go at, what are you doing so far away from the village? What are you, what's he doing? Who, whose baby is this? Who lost their baby? Well, We'll let the wolves take care of them. That's just bad parenting. And uh, we're going to get some food over from the other side of the farm. What's he offering? Hmm. I do have some emeralds. Let's go ahead and grab some bread real quick because I will definitely run out of apples. Thank you, sir. Looks like we got a jumper. Is he going to do it? Or is he going to reevaluate his life? Who knows? Not our problem. So I'm thinking maybe... We can put our starter house somewhere right around here. Make a nice little garden. There are some cherry uh, sakura trees or cherry uh, cherry blossom trees. Somewhere off in this direction, I think. Maybe past the mountain or somewhere over there. We'll grab some of that to help make a nice, beautiful garden as well. Oh no, it's already nighttime. Uh, I forgot to bring a bed. I think we'll be fine. We, we, we got this team. We're going to need this for torches. I uh, don't know how much longer we can be out here, to be honest. I have no armor. I have very low tier weapons. But we'll see what we can do. We're going to get some resources and make some torches for the next day. Yeah, probably not the best idea to be out here with such low level protective equipment. We're going to we're going to go we're going to go back. That one's got some armor, so he's not going to burn in the sunlight. This is going to be a problem. 
But if he gets too close, the golem will take care of him. I just got to get inside the house. Yep. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Okay, I'm about to die. You're on your own. I'm sorry. They can break doors, can't they? This is hard mode. He's not trying, though. Where's the golem? We're just gonna fight him. Ooh. Grab those boots, and now we can sleep. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope. Get him away from the farm, away from the village. Take him out strategically. Where did the creeper go? It's not like he despawned. There he is. There he is. Okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. It looks like we got ourselves a nice little beehive near the village. And I think I found my official mining pit. Villagers is right here. We're going to build a nice little stairway, I think. Uh, just cutting down. Probably from here. Just stairway down into here. And then just start mining. It looks like it's somewhat open. We're going to get to work on that. We're going to clear this area out real quick. too bad so far we got the area cleared out a little bit but we're gonna chop off a little bit more flatten the area out a bit and then we'll start putting in our stairs well now we have a nice clean pathway we still got to put the stairs in i'm thinking of like walling this off filling in the gap until we get right into that entrance on both sides but instead of it just being like a straight up wall it's going to kind of look more like the um just just the earth we're gonna basically have to terraform and make it a little bit more earthy we're just gonna have just use all the dirt that we've collected fill this in where are we fill this in and then have a nice cleaner entrance into the mine uh we're gonna do that after i do some exploring first because i really want to get some iron to make this whole digging process a little bit easier but uh, let's go ahead and get that coal in just a minute. I'm going to just put some torches down real quick. And then we're going to just take a quick peek in here to see what we're working with. Ooh, I already see some iron right there. That's perfect. Or oh, is that copper? I think that's iron. Uh, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get the iron. And place our torches down. Uh, it's risky. It's risky. It's risky. Can he get up here? Let's get him down there. There we go. There we go. We use them against each other. Come on. I was hoping the creeper would blow him up and take him out, but that did not end up happening. Okay. 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 Go grab this stuff real quick. So far, so good. And there's the creeper. Where's my sword? Stay down. Stay down. You're not welcome. Just blow up. There we go. Thank you. And that's the problem. Let's, um... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need... Where's my food? Ah! That was a rookie mistake. Let's get out of here. Wait, isn't that my food? It's do or die. It's do or die. Just do it. Just do it. Come on. There we go. A little bit of sugar. And there's the bread. Alright, so in case we die here, 
I have a nice well-lit area. We should be good. Just gonna light the place up a bit while we heal. There shouldn't be any more unexpected, uninvited guests. Oh, that's cute. Some random rose growing in here. This is perfect. I think I can happily leave with this amount of iron. Almost three quarters of a stack. Not bad. Not bad. This was this was a success. Uh, looks like it's daytime finally. Let's let's go ahead and head back up, back up to the surface. And of course, it's raining. Oh well. Let's go ahead and upgrade our gear. We're gonna smelt everything down. And uh, what are you doing? This better not be one of the other villagers. Better not have been converted. It's okay. We'll deconvert you from life. And let's get our coal in here. Along with our iron, we will need to start expanding our storage pretty soon because we we are definitely at limit. I'll put one right here. I'm sure he doesn't mind the clutter. And now we just wait until we have a full stack of, or almost a full stack of iron ready. Iron's finished, iron armor's made, iron tools are also made, and let's don a more appropriate gear. Okay, we got our chest here for all the loot that we're gonna get. Uh, we're all kitted out in iron gear. Got everything I need. We're gonna now, so a few things we have to do. Uh, we are gonna try to decorate this up a little bit, make it look nicer. I want to go into the cherry blossom biome and gather my wood because I, I and maybe some bamboo. We'll go to a jungle, uh, maybe. Uh, I wanna build our house right there but first we need to get more underground materials and that of course means we are about to do some off camera mining so it's probably been one of the most dangerous mining experiences of my life i'm actually not done yet um i've been in the mines for days i don't know what time it is anymore to be honest i don't know what day it is um as you can see the sun is setting or the sun is rising and I'm just, I'm, I don't know what's happening anymore. Um, I have been digging down, creating a stairway. I, I, I know this first off, yeah, uh, this, <laughs> this isn't the best work, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some trees right here. Like I said, I'm gonna fill this in, uh, which I did. It was just this big crater. I uh, filled it in, walled it off, and then I wanna put like a cherry blossom tree here and over here and probably add some more trim i know this isn't the best my best work i just wanted to put something together my main focus was just digging out this space and creating mines uh because of the new ore generation not really new but as of 1.19 ore generates at specific y levels so we have a section for the copper mines how uh, that still hasn't been dug out yet but we'll get there and then i kept going through this was a nice open space that i'd have my first mining session in that was dangerous because I, uh, I mean, you saw it earlier. I came down here with uh, no armor and I just wanted to try things out. And then we came back, fully kitted out, conquered the area. And I kept digging down. We got ourselves the iron mines and then we're digging down under the negative Y levels. We also have some chests here for quick storage if I wanted to go straight back into it. We got the gold mines here. And then I almost, I actually did die. I almost died once. I broke one block. I fell straight down. Pro move, literally I dug straight down and I suffered the consequences. And uh, this area was completely dark. So I did what any other rational person would do. I screamed and I ran. Uh, and as I ran and screamed, I would just place torches down to constantly light up the area. Uh, I ended up hiding over here. And another rookie move, I didn't realize that I was in water. I was here, when I landed I had one heart of health left, and I just stayed here to avoid the monsters and try to let my health come back. I didn't pay attention to the fact that I was drowning, and I took one hit of damage, I lost all my stuff. Luckily, the water kept coming flowing down, down over here, gathered it all up, so I picked it up, ran for my life and screamed some more, and can just continuously place torches down. And uh, I found two diamonds so far just by walking around here and lighting everything up. There's probably more beneath the surface. Uh, yeah, I tried hiding here earlier. There was a skeleton over here and uh, uh, he, he almost got me. I, uh, I made a run for it. Oh, we got one friend here from the previous war. Well, we got two friends, two dead friends. Press F in the chat. And after a couple off camera mining sessions, we got a decent amount of loot so far. Not a lot, but it's enough to get us started. We got plenty of diamonds for now, almost enough to make a full set of 
armor. Uh, we're gonna be going into the nether at some point just to get some crystals and uh, maybe some nether rack. Uh, but we got a lot, a lot of redstone, a lot of coal, um, some iron most importantly, because that's how I'm making all of my tools right now. So we actually have more iron than this, but I, like I said, I've been in the mines, just breaking tools left and right, uh, just grinding out resources. Got a lot, a lot of copper. And then down in the mines, we of course have a good chest or two full of, um, I forgot the name of it, deep slate, deep slate blocks. Uh, and so uh, some, something happened. Um, maybe you've noticed it now, maybe you haven't. I didn't realize it until maybe five minutes ago before I hit record. The villagers are gone. That's a skill issue on my part. I should have protected them, but it's okay because there's actually another village a few hundred blocks over there. So when it is time to start trading and making an iron farm, then we will just go over there. And speaking of mine, we uh, got rid of the stupid uh, dirt hut that we basically had as the entrance and we got a much grander opening right now. Obviously it's not done, but this is as much as I can think of right now. Um, we'll, we'll add on to this. We're actually, so we have a couple things we wanna do for the rest of this episode. Uh, we'll probably finish that up at some point. And then we're, since the village is gone, we're just going to just redesign this area. Uh, take down everything and we're actually going to probably just build my starter house right here and then we'll add some farmage around the house as well because <laughs> I need food um, I have been having to kill animals every so often and uh, I would much rather have uh, much quicker access to food for now so we're gonna have like a giant wheat farm maybe some other stuff as well for decoration purposes but uh, we're not gonna do a time lapse on that because as I mentioned before, my ability to do time lapses is pretty much gone. So I think my the, the, the style that we're going to do is going to be that I want to show you like frames of the progress as we go, like different different images of the area as I develop it. But first, before we get started on the house and the base, we have a little adventuring that we have to do over this way. Uh, we're going to go grab some cherry blossom trees and saplings and we're going to start some farming over on this side. We're going to wipe out some more trees for wood because I'm running pretty low on that. Might make some charcoal for fuel because I'm running low on coal. Uh, but the main thing is, oh, what's down there? Nope, not going there. Uh, the main thing is, is just having that beautiful cherry blossom tree at our base and having the ability to farm it. So we're gonna go a few hundred blocks this way and look at this. Here we are at the beautiful Cherry Grove biome. Looks like it's on a meadow and look, there's even another village at the foot of this amazing brand new biome. Shoot, I might just move everything over here and build a base. Nah, it's okay, it's okay. We will make our area look great at some point. Just gonna take some time. How strange must it be for these villagers? Some amazing ironclad gentleman just walks right in, takes some of the resources, passes out on one of their beds. I'm basically Goldilocks. Just walk into the three little bears house, eat their food, uh, sleep in their bed, and then I just go on my merry way. Oh, look at this amazing tree. I love the addition of these trees in the 1.20 update. Just, just look at this. We got pink petals all over the place. We got those nice pink petal particles plopping down onto the onto the floor. And it's in a meadow biome as well, so that means we're going to get plenty of access to coal and iron. It's just it's it's one of the most perfect biomes. This place is very very dangerous too. I mean we we have great resources inside these mountains, but uh, they must be treated with the utmost respect. Then we're going to do a little trick to get up there. We we'll do what's called a pro gamer move. Now, how do we harvest the petals? I don't, can, can I just break them? Oh, that works. Okay, so we'll gather the pink petals. We'll use this for decoration. I think you can bone meal these to make them grow and you can place them on top. Okay, so there are one, two, three, four. Four different levels of the pink petal flowers. That's, that's interesting. Now, I hope I can bone meal these because um, 
my inventory is filling up really, really quick with these. What would be nice is if these little particles, over time, pink petals just form naturally. I think that would be an amazing addition. It also just kind of makes sense if these petals are just constantly falling down, they will just slowly over time, you know, accumulate here and there. I think that'd be cool. Let's cut down our first cherry blossom tree. It even has a different sound when you break it. Listen to this. It's softer. It is raining and it is nighttime and I don't care. I'm gonna stay up here, get some more wood and then I'll leave. The saplings look really nice too. We're gonna have a really nice garden set up over at the base. All right, I guess I only needed some saplings and some petals. So I think we just might as well just head back to base. And we made it back. Time to start planting some more cherry blossom trees. We're gonna gather some more wood. We're gonna decorate this place up a bit. Level this area down. Start establishing our roots a little bit more. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're watching a hunt. Good lad. Anyway, it's time to start bringing, uh, putting roots down. Establishing our uh, presence here out in the world. Um, we're gonna start terraforming. We're gonna start flattening down these houses, build a nice little place to put my storage and all my food, place to pass the night away, you know the drill. So uh, like I said, no time lapse. We're just gonna do image by image changes. So like after some significant changes happened, you'll see the next screenshot. Then after some more change, we'll go to the next screenshot. Slideshow, that's the word for it. We're gonna do a slideshow of the progress of this area, so. <laughs> You know the drill, just sit back. It's gonna be a lot shorter than a time lapse, uh, but hopefully it'll still be just, uh, still good to watch. And now here we are with the finished product team. Now, is this a bit excessive for a starter house? Absolutely. Do I have to do it this way? Absolutely. I just, I, I don't know. I literally, I mean, you, you all know how I build sometimes. If it's a farm that somebody's done a tutorial on, I could just turn my mind off and build it. When it comes to my own specific stuff, coming up with my own ideas, uh, my ADHD t gets the best of me. And I literally, after I cleared out this area, I just stood here looking upon the blank flat land for about an hour and then i'm like you know what you know what you know what? it's been three days now um in my head it was an hour but it was actually three days in real life uh i i told myself hey just start start building just place a block down it'll come to you as you build trust yourself trust the process get the work in uh so i started doing that and then we built the deck and then my mind went blank again started placing blocks started coming together uh, that was weird. Siri went off for some reason. I didn't say anything to Siri. Uh, and then I started putting things together. Now, trim wise, I love the trim. I absolutely love the trim. I love the, I love the work here on the windows. Um, the color choice, it's, there's not enough contrast. I already know before you all start saying anything, uh, we don't have enough contrast. I don't have any black blocks. I haven't been in the nether. Um, but I know, uh, what's it called? Blackstone bricks and polished blackstone walls is gonna be perfect for the trim here. I think it would help match, for some reason, the blackstone, polished blackstone walls look darker here than they do over there. So there is a little bit darker texture here. And as we zoom out, other than the purple wood, it all really kind of blends in. So having that polished blackstone trim after we adventure in the nether is going to be very very important to make this stand out but you got to work with what you have i absolutely love this the, the the cherry grove cherry blossom sorry mangrove and cherry blossom the cherry blossom uh logs because look at this isn't this purple tell me this doesn't look purple it matches 
my purple outfit. It's beautiful. It's maybe not as purpley as my outfit, but this is definitely in the purple zone. It's like a plum. It's bordering on like magenta, plum, and royal purple. It's really, really nice. I love it. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, the back. We, we did get the back done. Uh, I know that's a, a common theme to not build the backs. Um, I, I, I got that one done. And yeah, we just have to, after I venture in the nether, uh, as I do some some more off-camera mining, of course, uh, we'll gather some polished blackstone, go explore. Uh, I don't need a lot of blackstone, just enough to replace the trim, to be honest. So uh, that'll be that'll be off camera for sure. Iron doors, of course, to protect us from intruders. Zombies are not breaking into our house. Don't have the interior set up yet, naturally. I'm a horrible interior decorator. Uh, we got the bed. And then we got a two-story house, as you may have already noticed from looking at the outside and watching the slideshow. Uh, nothing up here. I'm going to put enchanting tables here, I think. Yes, I want to have like a little nice enchantery over here and like a smelting room over here. And this is basically going to be the upper upper deck is going to be my workshop uh, where we do all that stuff. Enchants. Uh, brewing, all that fancy stuff. And this is just going to be like a casual living room slash bedroom. I'm going to put my bed. You know, actually, I think I might put my bed up there in the workshop. And this is going to be like our kitchen and guest room or something. I, I don't know. I still don't know. I usually never get this done, to be honest. And I would really like to actually get it done to uh, make, make the house look a lot nicer. This is a starter home after all. We got to make it look, we got to make it comfortable. Plan to be here for a while. So definitely got to decorate things a bit more than before. Uh, and of course, I mean, storage is a storage. Uh, pretty much all of our items. I've got that nasty chest monster out from over there. It's all in here. So as far as a base, we're good. Storage, we're good. A place to sleep, we're good. A lit up area, we're good. Safety from the monsters, we're good. Although the occasional creeper will try to creep right up to my front door and just stare into here like a weirdo waiting for me to open these doors. So that's that's something to look out for sometimes. But uh, next episode, we're going to be working on food and farms. Uh, I might do some more decorating around the house off camera. Um, once I go into the nether and get some blackstone, we're probably going to switch that out. So expect to see a couple changes to the starter house when we see each other again. Uh, but we're going to I'm going to be spending a lot more time uh, mining trees, stone, get some more diamonds, maybe have some diamond gear by then. And we're going to make a nice little farm area around here because I need regular fuel. I'm going to have a nice wheat field somewhere out here uh as well as some animals put them night in a nice comfortable little pen and uh clear out this area a little bit more off camera this place is gonna look a little bit more different uh when you get back um we're gonna ignore that that's that's the mine entrance that i still have not done um <laughs> yeah yeah it's on my list of to do things adhd gets in the way of things but that was the very first episode of season three of the 1.20 update on the minecraft bedrock edition thank you all so much for watching i am timeless traveler and of course this was my newest let's play let me know what you think of the slideshow time lapse uh since we don't have the means to do a proper third person time lapse because i can't have a spectator account on here without disabling achievements and breaking the vanilla game um just trying the slideshow method for now uh, just let me know how that how that how, how, how that hit with all of you um, But yeah, yeah, very excited for 1.20. Maybe we'll go explore desert bring back one of our nice tall four-legged friends Specific to the desert in the next episode, but it's definitely gonna be more focused on uh, proper survival making sure I have lots of food and, uh, and, and and bits for long adventures out before we do any long trekking I need to make sure I have plenty of food because I've just been killing every couple days uh, some wild animals to get some food. Uh, but I gotta go to bed. Um, you all take care. Have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next episode.